A monochrome to color transition within PTE AV Studio can be very appealing on the eye and they're very easily created with static images. We can also add something a little extra to this technique with some basic animation. Let's start in the main PTE window. And as you can see, I have two identical images, but I've used my image editor to create one of them monochrome. Let's now go into the timeline window and set this up. The transition style that you use for the color image, along with the transition length, is going to be your own personal choice, of course. But take a look at a link below to my smoothing line video because that's going to help a bit. Let's stay with the default fade transition for our example here. But all we need to do in conjunction with any soundtrack we add is to adjust the length of the fade from the mono to the color and also decide how long each of the images are going to remain on screen. The most vital aspect of this technique is really making sure you've chosen the right images. Really good color and a good sparkling monochrome. Coming back into the slide list, here's another method. Drag down just your color image and then open that up into the objects and animation screen. Now at the first keyframe, we need our image to be monochrome. So with the keyframe highlighted, I'm going to go up to my color correction options here, add a filter. Let's go to hue and saturation. I'm going to click to the left on the saturation to remove it. If the image is a nice black and white after you've done that, then we can just proceed. But if not, add another filter. Maybe add a little bit of brightness and contrast. So we could go down and just give it a tweak up with the brightness and a tweak up with the contrast to get that sparkling monochrome. Now we need another keyframe. I'm going to right click and just add it. I'm not going to clone it, I'm just going to add it. Because when this keyframe is turned on, we see the color. So there we have monochrome to color. And all we need to do is to experiment with the gap between this keyframe and this keyframe. And of course, we're going to take into account our music or our soundtrack. But if I press play here, you can see we've got exactly the same monochrome to color. Now we could go ahead and animate this particular example here, but let's look at another way to do this. And I'll take you back into the slide list to make a start. Let's drag down the color image into the slide list and give it about 12 seconds slide duration so we've got some time to work. Then we need to open the objects and animation screen. I'm going to select my first keyframe and add a bit of zoom and also maybe a little rotation. Now we need to right click the timeline and add a keyframe. Then if we go to the animation tab, we can tick the zoom and the rotate box and we can double click on the X and the C, which will reset them. Now we can see that animation as I press play on the left hand side. That animation seems to be working reasonably well given the content. What we need to do next is to add the mono image as a child by selecting the color image first, right clicking and choosing another image, this time the monochrome one. Now we can right click on the timeline and add another keyframe. We can slide both of those keyframes into position in conjunction with our soundtrack and our creative needs. To create the color, we need to remove the opacity of the monochrome's second keyframe. Then we can see the effect in total. 
So here we have the animation controlled by our parent color image and the mono to color controlled by the mono image and those two keyframes. This does allow us to vary the animation and or the mono to color independently of each other. Thanks for watching.